Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. First off, apologies for the mess in the background. Charlie and I are changing our bed linen on this dreary, rainy Friday morning, so everything is very upskittled, as one might say. For for a working Friday, I've had um, quite not not a leisurely start to the morning, but a um, very casual, very casual Friday. I've spent the last couple of hours in my dressing gown with my oat milk latte doing my email admin downstairs on the sofa with the dogs. I have every intention of doing a workout this morning, it just hasn't happened yet, so I thought if I stop filming, you guys can hold me accountable and we're going to head into the gym. This is the dress that I was wearing yesterday for Leonora's um, gorgeous luncheon, which was such a gorgeous event, and then... Um, I think I f did film a few little snippets at the end of the last vlog for the pub opening in Burford, the bell, the bull, one of the two, <laughs> one letter different, um, which was really lovely. They are doing a very, it was like a very, very soft opening, just like friends and family. I think they're going to be opening in September. It's going to be amazing. They've got this, it's really higgledy-piggledy, lots of small rooms, like low ceilings, lots of gorgeous beams. They've done an incredible job renovating the bedrooms. The bathrooms in particular, the, it's the best tiling <laughs> I've ever seen. Um, gorgeous quality, they've got Wildsmith pampering products. The food is lovely. They've got a room downstairs that seats, I think, 14 people, and they've got one of the um, old head chefs at Nobu, there um and it's going to be like a japanese almost benny harness style where you sit in this u-shape and they cook in front of you you can either go as like a couple or you can rent the whole place out as a group i think it's going to be really nice to have lots of different food options especially in the heart of the cotswolds so yeah i'm very excited to take you there again when it opens properly but i think um if you're looking for a hotel in the middle like the heart of the cotswolds i think it's going to be i think the rooms there the standard is very high, so I think you guys will love it. If um, a three night stay at Straw Dot Cottage is not quite right for you, of course. So yeah, it's, um, ah, new mirror by the way. <laughs> this was Charlie's little surprise to me, new antique mirror. The old one, oh, he's moved it. Um, yeah, I know that we have mixed feelings about old mirrors where you can't really see too much of the outfit, but I think it's not too, it's not too old. So let me know what you think of this. I like the size of it. It's a miserable Friday, which is a real shame. Um, but I am going to go and do a Peloton and a quick workout in the gym to get my body moving to kickstart the day. I'm just going to quickly explain what I'm going to do for today's workout. I'm going to do a 20 minute peloton, but first of all, I'm going to do a 20 minute Tabata. Tabata, I think, is when you do double the work and half the rest, um, and it's like non stop until you've done your time. So, 20 minutes. I use a Tabata timer app. So, I've set 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest, and I'm doing four exercises over and over for the 20 minutes which you just saw me doing more slowly in the warm-up. So it's basically um, a weighted squat. So you're holding the dumbbells and you're doing your squats. And then something which is really good for the arms is a gorilla pull. I don't know the technical terms, but again, you're in the squat position. You've got your dumbbells and you're pulling them up like a gorilla. And then kettlebell swings, which is really good, like cardio, get you a little bit out of breath. Um, and then something that I love to do and it's really good for the obliques, which is I think <laughs> the side abs Plank position transferring a dumbbell from side to side. So I'm going to blitz through that for 20 minutes get some tunes playing So let's do a little <laughs> workout time-lapse <laughs> Okay, 
my darlings, looking a little bit more put together than when I last spoke to you down in the gym. I've had my shower and I'm getting a bit more experimental with my hair curling techniques. I've started to get in the habit of just pinning the curls up when I've done the curling in the hope that it's going to make them last a little bit longer. Um, maybe I'll show you how to do it next time or how I've done this next time. So this afternoon it really does feel a little bit autumnal which is fine by me because I have got some gorgeous new pieces for my wardrobe that I know are going to be those real building block pieces that I get so much wear out of throughout the cooler months and it does seem a little bit wild thinking about that now but I feel like the British summer you know anything goes anything goes so we're going to get started I'm going to do a little little try on a little bit of a I thought I'd do a bit of a styling session with you which obviously I normally would do up in my dressing room but quite frankly it is it's very messy up there and I have really been enjoying filming in the green bedroom lately so hope you don't mind this gorgeous dress is or oh, you know when you try something on and you know that it's going to be the item that you're wearing throughout the entire autumn winter season I'm always looking especially for those days when I go into London for meetings equally days when I'm just at home but I want to look smart maybe I've got a few meetings or just filming and yet I want to be super comfortable but very elegant as well and I feel like this dress if I pop you down a little bit lower I can show it to you properly I feel like this dress it just takes all of those boxes it's got the most beautifully fitted bodice there we go um yeah beautifully fitted bodice the most elegant scoop neckline I love the ribbed um, sleeves because then it's really nicely fitted cinched in at the waist I have added my little belt you could add a chunkier belt you can make it a little bit more summery with a straw belt perhaps and then such an elegant pleated skirt this is the first of a few pieces that I'm going to be sharing with you from Lily Silk I placed Ooh, quite probably actually my largest ever Lily Silk order. I've got some really stunning pieces to share with you. And it is their anniversary sale at the moment. You can get 12% off with Josie 12 or 15% off orders over $350 with Josie 15 off. All of the discount details will be on the screen and down below in the description box. This, you might be thinking, Josie, that dress doesn't look like a silk dress, but actually it is 80% silk. What I absolutely adore about Lily Silk is that they use the most high quality, beautiful, sustainably sourced materials, and they mix them into the most gorgeously gorgeous and elegantly designed pieces such as this. So yeah, this is 80% silk. There are so many benefits to looking towards more natural materials within your wardrobe. I find that they last longer, they always look a little bit better, they have got many superior qualities, whether it's antibacterial or warmth or longevity, and that is what you get from Lily Silk. But, and also I'm always very, very pleasantly surprised with the price. If this dress was from the likes of um, Max Mara or I had something along these lines or have something along these lines from Victoria Beckham, um, Laura Piana, those kinds of brands, then this would probably be over a thousand pounds, which is a little bit wild. So Lily Silk, you get just the most incredible quality and beautiful design and you're not paying through the nose <laughs> for the pieces. So let's bring you down a little bit lower. I'll show you how I'm styling the dress. So for these pieces, I'll show you a few different ways of styling them. This is my very relaxed and easy summer way of styling this dress. I say summer way, it is, it feels like a knitted dress, like it feels like an autumnal piece because of the knitted <laughs> nature of the fabric and yet we all know that summer especially in the UK often we do want to lean into those warmer pieces where you still feel cozy and yet a white it's an elegant it's a timeless classic color so it, seems, it feels like it's going to work all year round I styled it with my little tan um, shoes and of course a little straw bag as well. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, this is definitely, I'm going to wear this this evening. We have got dinner with friends in Cheltenham this evening. So I think I'm going, this is definitely gonna be what I'm going to wear today when I just want to 
yeah, just want to be comfortable, just want to be cozy, but still very elegant. Also, it's not going to crease, unlike my linen dresses, for example, for a long car journey or 40 minute car journey, it's not going to crease. And it just feels very easy. It's one of those really easy to throw on pieces. So this is my summer styling. I'm going to make a few little tweaks and I'll show you how I'll start to wear it once those temperatures do start to drop. And here is my autumn winter way of styling the gorgeous dress. I have added a 100% cashmere, A-grade Mongolian cashmere robe. Now, on the Lily Silk website, this was actually in the nightwear section. So I think that if you live somewhere that's a little bit chilly, you like to be cosy, but you want to be super chic and elegant when you awaken in the mornings then this is just the most gorgeous nightwear robe but i think equally it can be worn over a gorgeous outfit as an extra gorgeously soft cozy layer being 100 percent cashmere it is just so incredibly warm so beautifully soft um and yet very very breathable another benefit of Wearing more natural fibres is that they're very temperature regulating, so when you're a little bit chilly it's going to keep you warm and when you're too warm it's actually going to regulate your temperature so you're not going to overheat. If you have ever sat in front of a fireplace or in a pub or somewhere where the atmosphere is very lively and quite warm but it's cold outside in a polyester jumper, you will know how uncomfortable that is. You get hot, you get sweaty, and that is because it's not a breathable fabric. These beautiful silk and cashmere pieces are the complete opposite. You are always at the perfect temperature. When we go out for walks in winter and I'm with a friend or a family member and they're complaining about like cold feet or getting sweaty feet, I always say, you're not wearing cashmere socks, are you? Because if you wear cashmere socks, which obviously you can get on lily silk, um, then your feet will always be the perfect temperature, but it's just an instant way of always being super comfortable, looking very elegant, and we all know that I love a robe, I love the cashmere cardigan, and this one is just so beautifully lightweight, the quality, the way that it's spun, Here's a little close-up of the material. You can see just how beautifully soft this cashmere is. So I've kept on the tan belt, but to make the styling a little bit more appropriate for autumn winter, I have added a pair of tan leather boots. Really simple styling. It's one of those outfits that doesn't require much thought on a morning if you're rushing into the office to catch a train, and then a slightly smarter handbag because this would be perfect for a work day look. I'm going to show you one more, slightly more casual way of styling the dress. And here is my third way of styling the gorgeous dress, and I can't genuinely decide which is my favourite. So the times that I imagine wearing this, and I know that I will wear this outfit, first of all Vlogmas, like I just feel like this is, this is giving Vlogmas vibes. When, say I've been wearing this dress out for meetings, or out for something nice with some girlfriends, a lunch or something, and then I got, get home and I just want to make it more chill, and be a little bit cosier, then why not fling on top a gorgeous cashmere knit like this one. So what I've done is I've actually popped on another little belt, this one is actually a lily silk belt, and how gorgeous is this? I just love this buckle detail, it's so pretty. Look at how beautifully um, structured this knit is. So what you can do if you really want to is tuck a little bit of the bottom of your knit into the belt. I know it's hidden, um, you could of course tuck it further so that it's not hidden but some people like to have a little bit more skirt on show and it's just a super comfortable way of getting a skirt and jumper look even though it is a dress again with the cashmere super warm super cozy you could pull it all the way down actually this would be quite a like parisian way of starting it i guess yeah a little bit of that kind of tuck i don't know i quite like it that kind of way. There are just so many different ways of styling it. Keeping all of the colours neutral is a way of always making sure your pieces look really elegant and I don't like saying this but it makes your outfit look more expensive when you stick to a neutral colour palette. And then footwear wise, I'm not going to lie, I would probably be in slippers, but if you wanted to wear this outfit out and about, if you have got um, the kind of job where you do maybe like more casual dress down Fridays, this would be absolute perfection because you're still smart. 
And if you get warm, you can just take the knit off and then you're wearing the most elegant dress. But it does feel very cosy and comfortable. You could actually wear sneakers <laughs> with this. And I actually purchased a few pairs of sneakers. Is that just the American version of trainers, by the way? Or is it like a more casual like outfit kind of trainer as opposed to trainers being sporty? I don't know. I'm not cool enough to know about trainers and sneakers. But I ordered a few pairs this morning. <laughs> I'll pop some of them on the screen here. I ordered a pair from Saint Laurent, a pair from Golden Goose. I know, I, I think I ordered these, yeah. Um, an Adidas pair and another pair that I can't remember. Maybe Vejas. But I really want to have shoes that are super comfy, that look good with different outfits. If you've got any advice on styling, then please let me know. But I thought if they had arrived by now, then they would go really nicely with this outfit. But I have got on my little fluffy um, Chloe sandals, which just give all kinds of cozy vibes to go with the coziest and most fabulous outfit of all time. So I love this look and I feel even if I, I could just wear lily silk in autumn, winter. I know so many of us online people are talking about lily silk, but that's because they really are the most gorgeous quality, really amazing price point, and we love them. So yeah, let me know which is your favorite way that I have styled the gorgeous dress. I actually can't decide. They all have different uses and I love them all. Okay, my darlings, this next outfit might surprise you because this is not what you are used to seeing me wearing. It's not a floaty dress. It is not a cozy Cotswold outfit. This is Josie Means Business. I have got on this beautiful twisted hem blouse. Yes, you've got a little sneak peek there. Twisted hem blouse, which is 90% mulberry silk and 10% elastane. Often what Lily Silk will do is consider how you're going to wear something. If you're going to be wearing something all day, you need it to have movement, you need it to be super comfortable. So that little addition of elastane just makes this the most comfortable piece. And then of course you get all of the wonderful benefits of silk. To me, a silk shirt, a silk blouse is something which always makes your outfit look so polished and so smart so I thought what would I pair this with if I had a really serious work meeting and it is a pair of beautiful wool tapered trousers so let me show you the whole look a very different outfit for me I know very very smart back when I worked in marketing for the software company this would have been an outfit that was would be in rotation for my work wardrobe so the wool trousers again really warm really really Really, really, really comfortable, and I have paired with. I don't know what you call this kind of shoe. Um, smart shoes, <laughs> smart shoes, and then the blouse because it's got this really gorgeous, like twisted detail. You don't really need to worry about tucking it in. You can leave it loose, which is super comfortable and easy to wear. But then you could tuck it in if you wanted a little bit more detail around the um, waist of your trousers. Personally, I really like this twist detail, so I'm happy to keep it open. So this would be my smart way of styling the bells. Now let's find something a little bit more casual. Okay, I know I said that we were going to find something casual, a way of styling this shirt in a more casual fashion, but then I saw this beautiful skirt in my wardrobe and I haven't worn this skirt in so long, I thought I would see how they look paired together and it is just absolutely gorgeous. This does feel like more of a springtime outfit, but you might have a knitted midi skirt in your wardrobe, you might have something with some slightly more autumnal colours in it, and you, you could get away with wearing thermals underneath this outfit with little white boots, for example. That could be a perfect way of styling it in a more warm way. But the blouse itself, really simple, really elegant. I love the size of the cuffs. Really, really beautiful cuff detail. Tucks in perfectly and you still get to see that little kind of drawing in design detail, which is so pretty. I would probably style this with a little pink bag um, and I've got on these little pink Nicholas Kirkwood flat shoes which I just love. It's a really comfortable outfit once again but it looks very much like you have really thought about all of the different details of your outfit. So a super versatile blouse this one sure is but there is another way that when I lived in London and when I was going into an office every day there's another way that I always used to style my midi skirts which I'm going to show you now and that way is of course with a pu pu pullover polo top basically this kind of top and let me tell you I have tried over my 32 
or 31 years of life. I have tried so many different tops like this and for me the criteria is something that I can wash a hundred million times and it still look amazing. Just make sure to use a delicate setting on your washing machine and you can buy silk and cashmere delicate detergent. I'll leave my favourite link down below. Care for it well and it will remain soft and gorgeous. I want something that is just really simple, no design detail whatsoever, gorgeously soft, neutral colour and just cashmere. <laughs> Basically cashmere is the winner winner chicken dinner when it comes to a top like this because you can use them as layering pieces, you can use it as a piece by itself, you can pair it with jeans and a gilet and a raincoat or you can pair it with an elegant skirt because these pieces are so versatile. If there is one thing that you pick up for your autumn winter wardrobe I bet you can actually find videos of mine from like 10 years ago where I say the exact same thing. This is such a versatile piece for your wardrobe. This one from Lily Silk is the best one that I have found in my entire lifespan of looking for the perfect cashmere pullover. It ticks all of the boxes. I have probably got about four of these in rotation in a few different tones. In the cooler months, when this is in the wash, I panic. I don't know what to do because I need to be wearing it all day, every day. You will probably remember that from previous autumn winter seasons. But it looks just as lovely with cooler weather appropriate outfits as with something like this. A really easy switch over to make it more appropriate for those times when it's a little bit chillier. The quality of this cashmere is absolutely sensational, like I was saying earlier about the robe. Um, and... I think you can never have too many of these in your wardrobe because trust me, I want to wear them so much. So I would definitely recommend adding at least one of these to your Lily Silk basket. Make the most of the sale, stock up. Again, if you compare similar quality ones of these from other brands, 100% cashmere, you can pay crazy, crazy money. But the Lily Silk one is such good value, in my humble opinion. So, yes. One for the basket, I'll leave all of these bits linked down below. Okay, my darlings, I don't know about you, but I am sick of this summer weather. I am taking myself to the south of France on a yacht holiday. I wish, but that is certainly the vibes that I'm getting from this outfit. I have paired a 90% silk, yes, 90% silk, top in these fabulous sailor stripes from Lily Silk with a pair of white linen shorts and this is the ultimate fabulous South of France Italian Riviera summer holiday outfit. The fact that this is 90% silk means that it is super breathable, perfect for summer days and yet there is something cosy about it and even if we're in a warm country don't we always just want to be cosy? Maybe that is the Brit in me talking. I love this little design detail of the buttons. You can't see them, like, you can't see them too clearly because they are um, white. But there's a little button design detail on the shoulders. A stripe high neck blouse is so classic, so timeless, as is a pair of white shorts. But if it's a little bit chillier in the evenings and you still want to get that nautical kind of vibe, you can swap out your little white shorts for a pair of jeans. A quick full length before I get changed. Again, my little tan sandals. I love this outfit and it makes me want to go on holiday immediately. I really need to start reaching for my jeans a lot more. I very rarely do, but every time I do little try-ons on YouTube featuring jeans, I find myself just absolutely loving the outfits. These are the um, jeans that I picked up from Reese not that long ago. Super high-waisted, real classic fit, and I feel like this kind of top with jeans is just, again, super easy outfit combination. While this might not be the kind of outfit that you're used to me seeing, I feel like this is the kind of outfit that so many of my friends wear on rotation all the time, like non-stop, jeans and a nice top. It just feels really comfy, really classic, really chic. And again, something that I'm saying about all of these Lily Silk pieces is timeless. These like nautical stripes, silk blouses, cashmere dresses and jumpers, they never go out of fashion. So price per wear, 10 out of 10. I've kept the same shoes on and I love this outfit. Will I ever get converted to properly wearing jeans? Who knows? But if I can find more outfits like this, 
then I think I might be tempted. So I thought for the last few Lily Silk pieces I would try styling them all with jeans because I really do need to train myself to find a lot more denim outfits and I know that most people in the population have got a fabulous pair of jeans on rotation in their wardrobe. This is a minimum effort, maximum output outfit. It is a gorgeous silk blouse with the jeans. This silk blouse has got the most beautiful little lace detail. So pretty, can you see here on the sleeves? And the quality of this silk, once again, 90% mulberry silk, the sheen, it just looks so expensive. The quality of this, you can really feel. It's one of those pieces that even if it's something you've been wearing all day long, you've been sat at your desk, it's still going to look so elegant, so polished, and so put together. I am currently wearing it, just literally untucked with the jeans, and it's just giving casual, elegant, I love it. It's giving <laughs> rich mom <laughs> that TikTok trend from literally two years ago. That is how behind I am. But it's giving those kinds of vibes. Like you've got all of the most perfect basics in your wardrobe, styling them together. I absolutely love this. But I'm going to show you one more way of styling the jeans with something so casual, so comfortable and easy to throw on. A little sneak peek. Oh my gosh, if there's something that Lily Silk just do exceptionally well, it is these classic knit pieces. This is a really simple just elegant. Elegant is the word I want to use to describe this. Whether it's the biscuit colour, the simple silhouette, the quality of the materials, this is just such an elegant piece. Could there be a more easy, simple and chic autumn outfit than a classic cashmere knit and a pair of jeans? I absolutely love it. I will style this with gilets, with puffer coats, with smarter outfits too, with white jeans and a nice little tan belt. I think this will look gorgeous. Love the neckline of this. There's something quite sporty about it. I love that there's no buttons, no detail, just this beautiful big collar detail. Once again, the quality of the cashmere is just absolute top notch. It feels so soft on the skin, not itchy in the slightest, and you get all of those temperature regulating benefits. Oh, I feel this like this is my best Lily Silk haul of all time. So much variety, so many amazing pieces, um, and hopefully you've spotted a few things that you love as well. I will leave all of them linked in the description box down below. Oh, I just can't stop thinking how lovely this looks. I'll leave everything linked down below, Josie 12 or Josie 15 off other codes that you need. Happy shopping. There are more pieces <laughs> that I will probably show you throughout the rest of the vlog. Um, a gorgeous new cable knit um, jumper with a gorgeous v-neck. I've got a cashmere cardigan. I've got new pajamas. There are so many favorites on the website. But for now, darlings, I need to go and meet my darling Petra. We are playing paddle this afternoon. The sun is coming out, but it's um, yeah, it's still a little bit cloudy. But we'll figure we'll figure something out, and then we are heading to Cheltenham for dinner with our lovely friends Millie and Callum. So can't wait for that. I shall of course bring you along. So I need to do a little bit of tidying up because so we've got guests staying in this room tomorrow. That will be in this vlog as well. We are hosting some friends um, that we've not seen since the wedding, so it's going to be a nice weekend of entertaining. So yes, yay, sunshine. Perfect timing. Okay, this is not part of the um, not part of the haul that I was showing with you earlier, but this is what I'm wearing to get myself over to paddle. Um, and this is also a lily silk piece. I thought I would share it with you in the same breath. It is the V-neck cable knit that I was woo sunshine or that I was talking about earlier. So sporty, so fabulous, so versatile. Um, I like to wear this again with more smart elevated outfits but equally it's the kind of thing that you can just throw on get yourself to the gym or to the paddle courts looking sporty looking fab so yeah this is my outfit for the rest of the afternoon and i'm taking my little um dress knitted dress that i showed you earlier to get changed into after paddle to get um to dinner in Cheltenham. so there we go this is the gorgeous cable knit v-neck and i love it i love how this looks feels like a real you know what this is a nice yoga outfit as well cozy when you get yourself to yoga fashionable and then you can just whip it off you've got your sports bra sports outfit on underneath and you're ready to go love it Now. Good, very good. Ah. Okay. Good. 
very wonderful hour-long paddle lesson. I feel like we weren't quite as on our best form today as we had been in previous lessons. I'm gonna blame the weather. Um, so a very quick outfit change in the changing rooms and we are now heading to Cheltenham. Where are we actually going for dinner, darling? I don't know, do you? No, do you? No. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, it's a surprise. Millie and Callum have probably booked a table somewhere. I hope they have. Rodney Road car park we've got to go to. Okay, we're Rodney. going to Rodney Road. <laughs> right, so en route to Cheltenham. You're in luck, darling. I think it's sushi. Yummy. Kibu. My darlings I thought I had to film a little voiceover for this because I didn't talk to you for so long this morning I wanted to make a breakfast using up one of my courgettes and yes this is another Instagram recipe so as you can see I'm breaking three eggs just into a bowl and I'm going to whisk these all together just gently with a fork and season with a little bit of salt and pepper then I'm popping the grated courgette into a clean tea towel and really straining it out as much as possible. Courgettes hold so much water, so if you don't want your bake to be completely soggy, make sure you give it a good squeeze. And on my phone because I'm trying to film it for a little reel as well. Mix the two together, I add the courgette into the egg and I added a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. And just make sure it's all perfectly blended in together. Now you can of course skip this step if you're feeling healthy, but I added a lovely amount of cheddar cheese. And then into my loaf tin, which I popped a little um, liner in, I added it to there, more pecorino cheese on top, and then I popped it into the oven, oh, and more <laughs> cheddar as well, into the oven for about 40 minutes. It took a while, during which time I went down and I grabbed more dahlias from the garden. We've got so many dahlias coming into bloom now, and I'm sure the more you pick, the more they flowers so I'm out there pretty much every single morning. Before I knew it Alexa was letting me know that the loaf was ready and oh my goodness it was so tasty it was like a cheesy courgette omelette and so easy to make I'll definitely be repeating this. I then headed out into the garden I probably only had about 45 minutes at this point until our friends were due to arrive so I just did a really quick and tidy up anything that was overgrown, cleared my little steps. I decided to pull out a load of my 
courgette leaves because it was creating too much shade on the plants so hopefully this will let them thrive in the sunshine when that finally appears and here's a shot of dickens for good measure <laughs> Well, this is a lovely delivery that I've just opened up. We received a little box of goodies from a company called Imp and Maker, and it's this cute little cheese selection, this Heart of Lincolnshire Mature Cheddar. That's so funny, I literally had to go and beg a um, bit of cheddar off Lala earlier to make my courgette loaf item. Should have opened this earlier, that looks so nice, although probably far too good to put into a courgette loaf. A smoked chili nut mix, yum, and then we've got these little tacklements caramelized onion marmalade and oh yummy sticky fig relish with some crackers perfect timing as we've got friends coming over very shortly a cheese and cracker board and then this is wild idol first tried these products uh, when we went to that house for the Arga event um and it's a non-alcoholic wine brand i believe they've got oops a daisy hang on a second i believe they have white wine as well as rosé and i think they've got still and sparkling Ooh, la la really beautiful branding and i have to say of all of the non-alcoholic wines that i've tried this is by far my favorite so this is the alcohol free sparkling rosé lovely big bottle really beautiful branding it's a very sleek alcohol free alternative so a really lovely little delivery thank you very much to imp and maker and wild idol well hello there my darlings it is currently five past seven in the evening on saturday and i have not yet spoken to you today started with a pt session with simon as you'll have seen um and then a little bit of gardening a little bit of house tidying i vacuumed the whole house which honestly i think took over an hour um and our lovely friends karis and dan have been here for a few hours karis and i have just got back from a lovely walk around the sunflower field while the boys are watching man united versus tottenham um Dan supports Tottenham and Charlie supports Man U. It's currently 1-0 to Tottenham. So very interesting um, how that's going to affect the mood for the chaps this evening. Our original plan was to go to the pit kitchen. However, it's just not a wonderful... It's been raining and then it's been sunny. It's been a little bit weird weather-wise. So we are playing it safe and we are going to one of our favourite pubs, the Fox at Oddington, instead. I've decided to go with my Lily Silk um, stripy knit and the jeans for my outfit of the evening. I won't lie, I am... A few rosés down, <laughs> feeling very jolly, and I've just come upstairs to very quickly top up my makeup before we go. Had a few new bits, ooh, from Bobbi Brown. Look at this gorgeous packaging. So pretty, and it's, oh, oh no. Oh dear, oh dear, I must have dropped it at some point, but doesn't matter. We can still use it. I'm gonna pop a little bit of shimmer on the eyelids. Ooh, that is gorgeous. like I'm going out to party and this lovely new lipstick which is the luxe lipstick in the shade toasted honey and if that is not the best name for a lipstick in the world I don't know what is I feel like that is the perfect summer going into autumn lipstick shade and that is coming with me in my handbag this is a highlighting powder again in this beautiful pink packaging so I'm just gonna pop some on my cheekbones. Um, yeah, so we're heading out for dinner at the Fox at Oddington this evening. I think we're gonna take the old Defender to get there. Charlie had to recharge the battery because we haven't used it in so long that the battery is now dead. And I had every intention of doing something nice with my hair today, but I was literally in the garden until five minutes before our guests arrived. So I did not have chance to do anything. So it's very much hair in a bun kind of day. But the great thing about going for a pub dinner is it really doesn't matter what your outfit is, what your hair is, because anything goes tiny bit of hairspray just for those baby hairs and I'm going to use my Tocca Florence as my fragrance for the evening 
just a really nice fresh and luxurious smelling fragrance i'm gonna take this with me in my handbag i'm probably gonna take the dior because that's where all of my belongings are after the last time i left the house so that is where we are today and um, i'll take you along with us to the fox at oddington and i will most likely speak to you again tomorrow morning Good morning my darlings. It is now Sunday morning. I will attempt to um, be better at vlogging today. We had a lovely dinner last night. Oh, there goes the sun. Okay, we're in the dark. <laughs> my goodness. Um, yeah, we had a really lovely meal at the Fox at Oddington last night. It was delicious. We had a lot. <laughs> we ordered loads of starters, shared loads of different things. And then I had the cheeseburger, which was scrumptious. Um, so this morning, it's a really lovely day. We have already been out for a gorgeous walk, our usual walk up to the beautiful hamlet. Um, half of the fields have been harvested and some of them are still full of wheat. It was really, really beautiful. Almost like postcard perfect. I didn't take my... Oh! Oh, the lioness game is on right now. It must have started up again. Um, so that's the background cheering that you can hear but yeah really beautiful walk if i've got one of the photos that uh, karis took on her phone i'll pop it on the screen here it was very very scenic excuse the fly um so now yes we are watching the lionesses in the football world cup final very exciting and we have just had some lovely brunch a little bit of yogurt and berries and i think we're going to pop on some scrambled eggs and bacon for a bit more of a hearty meal and then hopefully just spend the afternoon outside so yeah i've just popped on this little h&m floral dress this is the outfit of the morning so that is the plan for today. Today's little harvest from the garden. I've got one of my yellow zucchini, cucumber, some lovely sun gold tomatoes and some apples. I couldn't help but notice there's lots of blackcurrants or blackberries growing in the hedgerows now as well. So I think a an apple and blackcurrant crumble might be on the cards for this evening. Well, it started raining outside. Charlie's watching the football. The fire is lit and somebody has decided that they are also a fan of Lily oh, Silk Cashmere. Oh, that's You see, I really like... I've had two walks today. I really man. like Cashmere. Yes, and Auntie Karis and uh, Mummy took us to the sunflower fields yesterday, yeah. so we're quite tired. It's been... We don't love cameras, just so you know. No, I do, I do though. I like to pose. I like to growl. We just went for a, not the most fruitful, but a little stroll down to the hedgerows on the side of the fields and picked up our first blackberry loot of the year. It's not quite enough to do anything terribly exciting with, but alongside some of the apples from the garden, I could do a nice blackberry and apple crumble. Or more likely, seeing as we're not doing a Sunday roast this weekend, we will um, just have these with our breakfast. I think these are um, a fruiting crab apple. So if I get a few more, we could do a jelly or a jam or something yummy with those. If you've got any crab apple recipes, let me know. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hello, my darlings. It's a few hours later. Karis and Dan have now gone home. They are en route back to London. And Charlie and I are deciding what we're going to do with our evening, whether we're just going to... I think probably we're going to make a curry or something. Um, and the sun's come out again, so maybe we'll go for another walk. But we have done quite a lot of walking over the last few days. Why are you putting on makeup, Josie? I just felt that my... I didn't put that much on today. Um, and I had a delivery from Shiseido. This is the new Revitalescence Skin Glow Foundation. I feel that the shades that I have maybe a little bit too light for me. I don't know anything about this foundation. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too light for me. This is the shade 320, it's SPF 30. And I just thought, because I want to have a little chat with you, I would try it out. 
Seems like a really nice lightweight foundation, but I definitely need to give it a try when I am fresh faced. Not when I have got day old, a little bit of makeup on my face, not probably the most ideal time to try some foundation. Um, I have, however, been trying this Benefiance, Beneficence Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream from Shiseido, and I have been enjoying that over the last couple of days. Normally not an eye cream fan, because I find cream a little bit heavy, but that is not heavy in the slightest. So there we go, a little random product update for you. But what I actually wanted to talk to you about um, and this is going to be my most random ever product demonstration and unboxing. But a couple of vlogs ago, I was listening to the Diary of a CEO podcast episode with a lady who had got toxic shock syndrome from using a tampon. Um, and it kind of scared me a little bit and made me want to really look at the products that I use during that time of the month. And I did mention this in the vlog. And um, in the podcast, it's kind of random because she was like, nothing exists that is like an organic um clean product and i was thinking surely not um i actually didn't do any research into it straight away it kind of went in one ear and out the other but luckily a lot of you guys um messaged me some of your favorite brands of chemical free products so i had a look at all of the ones that you sent me Thank you, by the way. Um, I really appreciate it when you take time out of your day to send me your favorite products, like the pepper bras. <laughs> I'm now addicted to them, so thank you. There's me complaining about having small boobs, and then you guys sent me an amazing recommendation. So a few of you um, messaged me about this brand. This is gonna look like an ad, um, but it ain't. <laughs> I literally just purchased a few of these because I thought they sounded amazing. Um, so Riley is a actually an Irish brand and I read lots of information about them on their website, looked on their Instagram. I really like their branding. It's two sisters, or is it three sisters? Oh, it's three sisters. I'm gonna probably get these Irish names wrong. Aine, Ain, Ain, Fiona and Lauren. Oh, sorry, they're not sisters, they're friends. In a friendship where no topic is off the table, it was only a matter of time before periods became a constant in our wine fueled chats. We were fed up with the status quo. Why couldn't we have period care that worked for us, our schedules, our bodies, and our planet? We realized our perfect brand wasn't going to appear, so we got to work and Riley was born. Did you know mainstream period products can contain bleach, pesticides, and other chemicals that can affect your hormones? We didn't know that either, which is why we created Riley. All of our products are made with 100% certified organic cotton and nothing else. Better for your body and better for the planet. Um, your wrapper and pad are compostable. Dispose of them uh, with organic food waste. The pouch can be recycled at home or at your nearest participating grocery store. Um, do not flush, 100% biodegradable, organic blended content standard, 84% OCS organically grown cotton. Amazing. So I literally bought one of everything, I think, and then you can set yourself up on a subscription, which is what I have done. Very interestingly as well, they're crowdfunding at the moment, and I genuinely think I might invest in this company because, especially after the podcast, I think a lot more people are gonna be really interested in um, more planet and body friendly period products. So they have pads and they have tampons. I told you this is gonna be the most random um, product unboxing ever. But I thought I would literally show you these products because for me, um, obviously I don't wanna sacrifice how well they work, but that does come second to how well my body reacts to them like I won't be using a normal tampon again after listening to that podcast episode yeah I like the branding um love that this is chemical free toxin free organic cotton um it looks like a bag of sweets <laughs> candy kittens or Riley sanitary pads so let's have a little look inside so I've got um regular pads got times two by the looks of it um super pads panty liners, I hate that word by the way, it just sounds really cringe, doesn't it? And then um, tampons, did I just get one kind of tampon? Yeah, just regulator ones, regulator? Regular ones. So let's have a little look in here. Oh, they're quite sleek. 
I like that, just very simple cream packaging. Um, oh. I'm not sure if they're going to have wings or not. I guess maybe the super ones. Yeah, it looks like the super ones have got little wings in case that is something important to you. Well, they seem quite, okay, so it literally just looks like a normal pad. I can't believe I'm showing you this. I feel very mature <laughs> showing this to you. Um, yeah, looks like it's going to be absorbent. It's not my time of the month at the moment, so... Oh, even the regular ones have got wings. That's great. I can't tell you how well they work at the moment. Um, but I will report back next time. So stay tuned if you'd like to hear my review post-usage. I quite like that you can seal them at the top as well. Not that they're going to go off or anything, but you can reseal them. Uh, so they're the super ones. And then let's have a little look at the tampons. I think you could get some that don't have the little plastic applicator. And again, I'm guessing it's going to be... I'm guessing it's going to be biodegradable, the applicator. You can get regular, light, super or super plus. I've got regular here. Um, and yeah, you can get them with the applicator or without the applicator. Oh, these are cute. How is that biodegradable? But it literally says 100% compostable. Very cute little pink packaging. Um, and then just looks like a regular tampon. Amazing. One thing I never thought that I'd be unboxing on my YouTube channel. So there we go. I really hope that they are going to perform as well as the traditional brands, I've literally used the same brands my entire life, always, and uh, is it Tampax? And I think it's about time that someone came along and shook up the industry and making it with organic, bleach-free, pesticide-free, no harmful chemicals, I think is genius. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna look into the um, investment side of this company from a crowdfunding point of view. I might wait until I've used them and trialed them because if they really don't work, then it's not a good company to invest in. But if they do, then I think they are a game changer. So stay tuned. Um, I will let you know how I get along with them. So yeah, I think we're just now gonna forage into <laughs> forage into the freezer and see what curries we've got. That is what I'm craving for dinner this evening. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Gonna try and stick on a film or something. Um, if you guys are watching anything really good at the moment, please let me know, because now that we've finished Wolf, we've finished Hijack, we are now in need of a new program to watch. So, let me know if you've got any favourites to recommend. So my Lily Silk um, dress that I was wearing yesterday and a silk dress um, that you've probably seen me wearing before with lovely rose hips on it. I have popped them in my fashion fridge along with my Zimmerman dress which has got the shells on it because none of them, well to be honest I would be fine putting the silk and the cashmere pieces in the washing machine but the Zimmerman dress is not washing machine friendly so I thought I might as well pop them all in for a quick delicate cycle in here and that should be a perfect way of freshening them up. Look what a gorgeous evening it has become. Picture perfect. Picture postcard perfect. This room, the lighting is always so lovely in here on a glorious day. So beautiful. Do we have anything new here? 150 restaurants. You need to visit before you die. That's nice. Hmm. Oh, we've got some really nice um, books from, I think it's River Cottage downstairs. I was having a read earlier. I'm going to show you. Lovely. So I just wanted to show you a couple of things. First of all, this wonderful little bunch that I put together yesterday of dahlias. They are just such gorgeous colours. I'm really glad that I um, chose orangey tones and like sunset pinks for the dahlias this year. And I'll, I need to order some more. Actually, I'm going to go on Dahlia Beach um, and the other websites that I buy them from and pick up some more in these autumnal colours. I definitely want to get more pom-pom dahlias. But yeah, just thought that looked really lovely. And then, yes, these are the books that I just briefly mentioned upstairs, which Charlie found. Did you say on Amazon, darling? Yeah, so yeah. what actually happened was I bought a couple from Dalesford because Dalesford have a sale at the moment. 
Um, oh, right. I was amazed. That's in the limited sales, <laughs> where it was three for two, but they oh. only had a small selection of these books. So I bought three for two on there with, with the cottage in mind. So mm -hmm. they're at straw top. Um, and I thought, oh, they're really nice books. So I went on Amazon and then I went on a bit of a haul. So I bought ourselves the set, mm -hmm. not all the set, because there's a few, there's like three or four that aren't that relevant to us, like mushrooms, seafood one. Um, yeah, a couple that aren't that interesting. So yeah, um, I've got one more that hasn't arrived yet, which is like the game and pheasant one. All right. Um, but yeah, they're, they're nice books, right? I yeah. think you like the veg pack one and the hedgerow one. Yeah, so they're really interesting topics. Um, obviously, River Cottage, it's a restaurant, right? So River Cottage, you're thinking of River Cafe. River Cafe. River Cottage is Hugh Fern, Fern Hugh Furley Whitting Store. I don't know how is it Ferning Whitting Store. Basically, he's a TV chef. River Cottage is his house or cottage, and he used to film a cook oh. a, a show at his cottage. If I remember, like honestly, like when I was a child, I'd watch it. Wow, we should rewatch um, it, but it's really wholesome. And then he's built a whole ground around it. So, for example, Clever. the kefir that we buy is from Hollis Mead Dairy but it's in collaboration with River Cottage. Mm. So it's kind of a bit of a Dale's Philly brand. So these are all books that he's, I guess, written and had input in. Right. But he also does, we have got a cookbook here somewhere that Hannah and Phil, our lovely friends Hannah and Phil bought for us, mm. which is his cookbook and it's called River Cottage, I think. Oh. Well, the topics are just really lovely. So we've got um, a book all about fruit, one all about veg patches, outdoor cooking, pigs and pork, chickens, bread, hedgerow, herbs, cakes, cheese and dairy, yum yum, and fermentation. So I was having a little flick through this while it was half time during the football earlier. Um, and yeah, it's just really fascinating. It's got a very interesting little calendar at the beginning, a Dexy. Um, so you can see what you can forage from the hedgerows at different times of year. I thought that was quite fascinating. And then there's a little section at the beginning which is all about the laws of foraging. And I thought it was particularly interesting because obviously I like to forage like flowers and foliage from the hedgerows. And luckily the rules that I thought were accurate are indeed accurate. So obviously take care not to damage habitats by trampling them. Be careful what you pick, obey the laws that cover conservation, um, only pick a little here and there. And also what was very interesting is that you cannot pick for commercial use. So it says, obviously illegal to uproot things, you can't pick in certain areas. Uh, you can collect fruit, flowers, fungi and foliage, providing it's for personal use and that it's growing in the wild. So for example, you couldn't pick a load of blueberries and then sell your blueberry jam. But yeah, that was an interesting little section. And then it's got different chapters on each thing that you can forage. And it's got some recipe ideas and tips on how and when to forage. So that's just a really lovely one of one of the collection. I think they're quite nice books to, we like in our guest rooms here, to have a couple of books in the guest room that are like browsy books. Browsy books. And I've actually noticed at Store Top, in both guest rooms, I always go for like 10 minutes just to check it's all set up after it's been cleaned and the bed linen's been turned mm. over. Um, and Chloe's helped put stuff, bits and pieces in the uh, in the in the fridge and the pantry. Um, and the books have often been moved, moved which makes me realise people have read them, which Good. makes me really happy. Yeah. So yeah, they're nice sort of books to browse through, aren't they? Lovely. You're being a pest. You're being so Daddy, I've been for two walks today, and it's really, really nice. It's very smelly. I'm very smelly, but I'm really handsome. Right, mum is about to start cooking our curry. Um. Okay. Carlos, you know Big Mike from school? <laughs>